Hey guys, and welcome to the campaign. Now we start with a bit of bad news. The king, or the duke, has died at the age of... Um, <laughs> died actually. I'm pretty sure he was like 60, 70, 66, 65, around that area. <laughs> anyway, the duke Boris has now taken over. Was, I've taken this time to look at my family tree while here. I didn't look at it properly before. So we have Orek, who's got some decent generals actually. I've got Andre of Lubeck, who's married... Uh, well, my daughter, um, well, my sister. Uh, <laughs> here we go from the character perspective. So, Duke Boris, and you got An Anizka, who's married to Sergei. They have one child, four years old. Uh, Petrova, someone that he marry off. Uh, Prince Nikita, as well, that's my heir. So, he'll, I believe he's in the same army as, um, wait, um, yeah, he is. <laughs> And then you got Victor is twelve, and then moving on to Pavel, who's forty six. Um, he's got Vladimir who's five, Chechnya who's married to. <laughs> he does not look twenty six. He doesn't look twenty two. <laughs> you don't have a beard at twenty two, like that anyway. <laughs> well, Matt, he's married. He's got a kid called Maxim. Like so, Domas here. I'm probably butchering the shit out of these pronunciations. I do apologise if anyone is Georgian that is watching this video. Or um lives in this general area. And uh, Nikita or he's um you got um Ziznabud, okay? I'm not if that's how you say his name. But yeah, I don't know, we're, we're going with it. Alright. Let's move him. Actually I might move over that first. We'll take Antioch and then move over there and then sort of wrap up. I'm kind of happy how good we've taken this. I did think the king would die actually though. Um, so yeah, I guess I saw that coming. Let's send him over there. Uh, probably always a bit dodgy, but oh, we should hopefully sort itself out a bit. Maybe to recruit a cavalry unit. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, yes. I completely forgot. Let's take this. It's just a general's bodyguard, you should be easy to be taken. There you go. And now, I believe, well, it's pretty much all turkey. We have. Oh, shit, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, don't, 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 don't give in. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, yeah. Oh, <coughs> shit. <laughs> Let's finish off this douchebag in the battlefield. Let's hope we can get enough moon points to be back. Yeah, we'll be fine. I could fight this. It might actually be a cha challenge. I know it's like a small army. But we may... Nah, can you do what? Hey, fuck it, why not? Let's do it. Alright, let's do this. And hopefully... Oh, this is... <laughs> it's going to be a nice little formation. And they've just done the opposite of what I wanted them to do. I don't know if that's a good formation, but fuck it, we, that's how it's going to be. Alright, let's do this. Alright. They actually come in to attack us. Surprisingly. I do have fight will one, do they? Yes. Always do. Prepare to fight! They are musketeers, so I imagine they'd fall fairly easily. Try to get my uh, body general to the flank if I can. I don't want to. I don't want to rush him in, but if he can, you know, my body got might be a bit of a trouble. They are getting fucked to pieces. They go for my cab. Hmm, they're over there. Let's try and distract them and pull them away from my troops. They're just getting teared apart. <laughs> Hopefully. I'll fall them back. They are in skirmish mode, which is I'm actually fine with that because that means they won't get themselves killed. 
fine. I'm okay. Some have left, but some haven't. Look like they are not a position to fuck me. <laughs> chase, chase the cavalry. Go. I know it's probably. Get off my place. Where's that cow? Where is he? Oh shit, he's over there. Alright. Whoever's over there needs to just fight them. <laughs> Sorry for running. You're losing troops here. What's going on? The guy is not attacking. What are you doing? <laughs> You're made to get a mask. Just the battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, Wait, is that only dead? No, they're still there. <laughs> they are routing actually. Yeah, why are you run to the spin man? The army over the troops over there. Idiots. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Let's just slow the fuck down on that. Um, <laughs> right, they're the routing bodyguard, but I'm never going to catch them. They'll probably bugger off. I mean, what the hell. Alright. If you can shoot them, then that might be helpful. You're probably going to waver if I charge you, so, you know. <laughs> they throw their grenades in, I imagine. Which should be easily beat the shit out of them, I imagine. The defense is dodgy, but it should still be fine. <laughs> it's a more running. <laughs> And they're gonna route, I imagine. Let's hope they actually smart enough to catch them. What's going on over here? Oh, they're routing. There's not much point in chasing them. Because they just run for their lives. Um Come over and shoot them. Oh shoot, they're already Never mind, never mind, never mind. Why did I do that? <laughs> You guys, all right, come over here and shoot them. <laughs> Sorry, I just clipped them the same one. That doesn't matter. Fuck it. Come on, guys. God, the AI is so stupid when it comes to chasing down the enemy. Just fucking chase them down. Christ. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we but now they're chasing them down properly. Good. That's still alive. Fucking hell. Where's the cavalry? He's buggered off. Okay, so let's just get them all to shoot at them because there's just not much point. What strategy involved here? <laughs> just charge in and kick the shit out of them while you have the chance. I've lost quite a few cavalry there. Well, quite a few general bodyguard which will recover over time. Oh, there's water. Fuck it. Let them just shoot the shit out of the, um, if they can. I can double back, um, come on guys, hurry up. Like, uh, general body, wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Right, just one douchebag, okay, well, shoot him. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> At this point, just letting him run away. All right, let's finish them off. Actually, just, just I mean, you may as well just attack. <laughs> I hope they're not foolish enough to let them escape. 
<laughs> oh god, don't do that. <laughs> don't shoot my own general, that'd be hell and bad. <laughs> if you finish them off, then you can have. Oh, you can go turn around and go kill this stupid general. You probably bet just to shoot him. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't shoot at my general, because that'll be bad. Yeah, they're probably going to escape. I mean, if you catch them, great, but I just don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> There's one gem, one <sighs> turkey. I don't suppose he's going to do anything. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> the general may have survived, but, you know. Actually, no, no, they, they're no I'm pretty sure they all died. Because, um, they were, yeah, they, yep. He's dead. Brilliant. Now let's return to Trebizond just to actually attack as I can. So I'm not too bad. And not actually too bad. Okay, that's good. Let's stay there a minute, and we just build up the the roads if we can. It's a minus C, so that's good. All right. I'm not sure if I accept this, but it seems they've allied with Ottoman, the Ottomans, which could be bad for us. Um. The, it's not good at all, but uh I doubt that we hope that this will be more reasonable. I see no reason why not. Hopefully they like us a bit more. I mean, can I give them just give them some money? <laughs> middle ground here, yeah? Maybe four hundred gold would be nice. Uh, uh, Persuade them not to attack me. And then again the Ottomans have lost to the Turkey completely. But they have they do have one uh settlement back home, is that? Into oh, yeah, we've got a guy back there, alright, that's fine. Rubber most of my generals be in the front line to be honest, but oh. send you up to there. Just like seven percent fucking any my religion. It's terrible. Okay, let's take Antioch. Oh, there's a general behind me. This wait, what is he gonna say? Ah, fuck it. Why is that? No. <laughs> Janice there isn't there. That that'd be why. Well but besiege it, hold it for siege for now. And then we'll likely move down there. This army should fuck off at some point. Yeah, so I'm bringing this sending him back over here. You join up with the troops being rallied at Constantinople and go in a deck, so I don't have enough to have too many troops raised. Uh <laughs> What we got in here? Crap, Greek bayonets may be alright, but nothing too fancy. <laughs> alright, well, my main army is sort of over in the west, uh, dealing with that. Uh, but we can do it, just, just be careful with the Ottomans, really. They don't have a good army there, so we can defeat that easily. Just, um, we don't want to get let them get too much of an army. Now, that's my problem with focusing on the west. We sort of didn't focus too much on the east, so it could be bad. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and um, try and get an alliance, but I can't now. So, we're going up to speak to the Polish, uh, wherever the hell they are. Uh, I think they're up here somewhere. Let's go murder some ships. <laughs> yeah, we sunk more than good. Oh, bloody ships. Everywhere. <laughs> right, where do I want to send this army? I kind of want to send them down the south a bit, just to reinforce my territory. And let's see what it's like if I take out... Take out him, maybe. Yeah, that's still a bit shit. Let's put... Take one of these guys out. Stick him there. And I'll take the musketeer unit. And uh, we'd stick in. How's it like if I take any of these dudes out? Oh dear. Alright, let's go south with them. And uh, we'll take this while we're here. I'm going to leave Antioch to uh, 
be under siege for a little while because it's quite a decent garrison there. Yeah, it's pretty crap. Fuck me, 440 Jesus. Didn't really want expect to lose that many fucking men, but all right. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> fucking hell. How bad is it if I leave? <laughs> Let's leave you there. Okay, that's actually fine. All right, that's good. Thank God. <laughs> They build a priest in there straight away. Build some farming. And while we got some money, let's see what else we can build. Yeah, it just helps the law out, really. Okay, let's. Oh, they've got an army up here, haven't they? And while they're cheer. Okay, well, I kind of want to eliminate their presence in Greece first and go up north again. I just lost fat tons of troops. We're still going into debt. But uh, hopefully that should improve once we take more settlements. I'm going to have a look at my spine man, and see what's going on. Resistance is futile. Yes, I know. Yeah, we'll take that. And then we'll take those two in a minute. And uh, hopefully we should be, should be done pretty easily. I'm hoping. Interestingly, I got map information with the Austrians and improved my relations with them. And they're at war with Poland. Which explains why they're sort of like taking them. So if we do go to the War of Austria, I don't really want to. Then we could invade some of Austria and give the lands that I bordered with them to uh, Poland. And then ally with Poland and keep them as my ally to the west. I guess west of the big empire that I'm going to form eventually. Eventually, um, <laughs> Turkey, the Ottoman Empire is just the beginning. <laughs> the final order. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take him out next turn and we're going to... Uh, we, uh, we got book arrest up here. I'm not sure if. Oh shit, they do. Do they? They do, yeah. Got some territory up north, so we might have to take that. I could actually. If I defeat. I don't know. I could take the land. Yeah, I might move on and just take that for myself and then try and get an alliance with Austria later on. Uh, once we've defeated uh, the um, Ottomans. And that gets them off my back, and I don't have to bother with fighting the stupid Austrians. I don't have time for that. Yes, <laughs> anyway, uh, good. Here we got Oryx going down here. Take this. Should then we move over to take uh, Durazzo later on, and then eventually we move back up north again, and probably wipe out the last of these arm these troops. So they haven't got many men around them, so I think it should be fine. It should be done quite easily, really. They have got quite a few, quite an army here. So we may have to fight it. Uh, I don't really want to because the Janissaries are decent troops. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, the fleet that we're bringing down with an army in should um, sway the tide. Uh, I think they have an army down in Crate. Uh, a settlement in Crate, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I could use the army to flank, but I feel like I should reinforce the south. Because uh, especially um, the Ottomans are probably building up quite the army down south, I imagine. So that's why I want to. Uh, reinforce Duke Boris before he gets himself killed and then and then our campaign is cut a bit short in the south and we have to recruit another big army and yeah I'm thankful and I probably shouldn't be saying this but Persia has not attacked me which is good uh, I believe we built another diplomat somewhere uh, where the hell was he no we fucked on some missionaries actually if you're wondering why Delirio oh right yeah I'm sitting over here Armies over there. Yeah, I don't want to bother going over there to be honest. Can't bother to fight the bloody um. What to click on that for? I'm gonna send you actually east, actually, just down here. It might take me a while to get there, but um, should be worth it. Just try and talk to the uh Persians, get on my good side, and all that. All right, guys, let's take this. See what they got in there, just Greek bayonets, that's actually not bad. That's alright. Annihilate all the population, because we are fucking evil. <laughs> not really. Let's recruit some mercenaries while we're... Why am I going to go south? I'm not going south. <laughs> uh, Venice, we need to get an alliance with, actually. Um... Why am I sending him over here if I'm not going to want to Venice? I must have tried it earlier and it didn't work, so I hope it works this time. 
So it's Durazo. I've got I war with Austria is inevitable one now. Where it was because they did attack me. But but, but. I thought. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm so confused. What's happened? Austrians of when what <laughs> what what Austria is bent over backwards for the Poland. <laughs> Ha! 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 Suck on that! Ha! And I've had with Poland as well, so... Good GG. GG. Yep. Now, there you go. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Made the Austrians are fast as... Fuck! I thought... There was something good! No! I know in my life they're gonna fucking attack me and I can't. Right now we're getting alliance with both of Austria. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Let's hope they attack the Ottomans because. <sighs> Jesus. I can't even get an alliance because the Ottomans are still alive. Fuck! <laughs> Why'd you do this to me, game? Now I can't even ally with Austria because they're a huge bloody superpower. I mean, look at the size of their map. Look at the size of the territories they hold. There's no way I'm beating that, but I probably could, but come on. Uh, I thought something was going good, but no. Poland gets vassalized, for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, up. Will anything go right for today? Fuck me, why is the entire Ottoman army coming for me? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, at this rate, may as well just take it. Alright, fuck it, we'll take it now. And before... Like, a million army just show up out of nowhere. I told you there'd be an army down here. 100 men. Yes. Alright. If they attack me, I can probably defend that. Mm, they will bow to me. We'll die. Wow, the public order is pretty good. Keep it low, them. Um... Uh, let's some running, I guess. It's faster movement points, I guess, is what I like. Alright, if they attack me, I could probably defend it. Hopefully. <laughs> Having that old Duke, the Duke dies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, actually, the heir's in the army as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully that does not happen and the, he doesn't die. <laughs> I'm hoping. Okay. Anything else to really look at? Not really. Do I have any chance in hell of defeating any of these armies? I'm gonna lose half my fucking army in the process, but still. Okay, we're gonna need some reinforcements. <laughs> gonna need some reinforcements straight away. Let's see what we can recruit over here. As war with Austria is coming. Probably. Okay, that's all we can recruit. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, we need money. I put everything on low because um, I, j I just want uh, my population to grow up. Uh, grow up. I just get that, really. And I can um, focus all my efforts on uh, just, um, a decent economy with a huge military. It's my overall plan. Anyway, let's... What the hell is this settlement? I have no fucking idea. What the fuck? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Oh, for fuck's sake, game. Really? Ah. Some... Okay, we're gonna take Arachnion, because it's just sat there. I don't know why. Oh, it's really stupid when you land on a province. Literally right next to the settlement, you can't attack them. It's just like, ah, uh, really? Why? 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 Why do you do this to me, game? No, you can't quite reach that, so we're gonna sit here, and we're gonna, we're gonna make you wait. Yay! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Alright, let's take a little right, Leon, and take it out. Take it out? I like, guess so. Yeah, I thought that's gonna fuck me up. I can't lose too many men in this one siege, otherwise, my army is gonna be completely useless. Yeah, we're gonna, we can just siege that for a while. I'm not losing 300 fucking men, because that means I have, we have no men to reinforce them um, over here. So I'm gonna go blockade Cyprus. <laughs> no, that is a plan. We'll take this though. Oh, shit. Sure. And uh, actually, we need to dip the map westwards. Should probably spoken to Venison, but no, it doesn't matter. Away with you. 
Why not dip the mic guy? He's over there. Alright, let's go kill this twat in Durazzo. Three hundred and eighty five fucking hell. Really? We lost that many fucking men? Christ almighty. What is this game sometimes? Oh, let's just lose him half his fucking army. And he can't do anything for the rest of the campaign. Jesus Christ. Why is it so bad? Let's hope that recovers a bit. I mean, the more shit we lose, the debt are great. I don't know why it says 11. I think it's just a bug or something. <laughs> Alright, let's go kill those twats up north and hopefully not lose another 4 million troops. I'm pretty sure that economy thing is just buggy from bugged for a minute. So you won't ignore that. I know what this army outside of Constantinople is on uh, Antioch is doing. But sure. <laughs> we'll let him get on with it, I suppose. I'll probably send you I have no idea. Once we take out the Ottomans, I'm really going to have to um, have a lot of peace for a while. <laughs> While we just rebuild all our fucking military. Alright. Yeah, we're going to move him up there. We'll see what Arachnian is like in a couple of turns. And we'll just see if we get attacked at Antioch. And that's it, really. Why the hell is Spain set up a massive fleet? Why? <laughs> what? What are, you, what, what, what are you doing? No, go away. Fuck off. Ah, the British Empire is offering me trade. Hmm. So I an alliance album. Do they accept that? No, because they're bitchy. Oh, oh God, we can't accept that. My God. My relations so bad with them. Why? <laughs> what have I done to the UK? They're fucking on the other side of the world, for God's sake. Or the other side of Europe, anyway. Disappointing. I fuck. Okay. <laughs> I've just sent three diplomats over. I think it's overkill. But uh, we are with Venice, by the way. And what the hell are they doing? No, we're gonna sat outside. I don't know why I just don't besiege. I just sat outside my walls. We're stand. We're trying to scare them. Why? Why not? Let us sit outside the walls and watch them. Watch them inside the walls for some fucking reason. I don't know why. Do we have any chance of defeating that? Uh, the boat. Why the hell can they? Is there a night fire in here? I don't think so. No, so now I should be able to do that completely. I don't understand. Is he a night fighter? No. Oh no, no. Yes, he is. That's why. Then. All right. <laughs> We'd probably have to besiege that at some point. Where to? Where to go? How many bloody towns for three towns? Okay. We're we'll sat there for a while. And, oh boy, that lasted long, didn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> the opponents was like vassal down into right we go attack him again. What's the what's the fucking point of that? <laughs> but yeah, I, I got that alliance with Venice as well, which is good. Which keep them off our back for a while. And um Austria, I'm I war does look um, inevitable with Austria. I do it do see it coming. Anyway guys, we're this off here. I thank you for watching. Uh next episode we will probably end up at War of Austria. And yeah, I mean we still got the rest of the Ottoman army to deal with. And um for fuck's sake ugh, Dare I take that next turn and a couple of turns because the game's retarded. Never deal with this because there's quite a garrison in there. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes, really. Um, no, I don't want to that. Uh, I want to build up an army over here. And now our money should be alright now, because we've lost quite a few troops, which should be fine. Hopefully. Anyway, guys, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.